Last week, I did a couple of bootleg style t-shirts live on my Twitch stream. So I decided to do a little walkthrough of my process of making bootleg style 90s graphics. Once I decide what the subject's gonna be, I just go to Google and try to find some high def images. If you click on the tools button, you can filter the sizes that you want, and I just try to find the largest sizes possible. This isn't normally how I recommend getting images for designs, but for just fun things that I'm doing on my Twitch stream, it's not a big deal to use copyrighted images from Google. This is a good way to find things if you just wanna practice. I start a new document in Photoshop at the size 16 by 20 inches. It's a little bit larger than the canvas area that you have for printing on a t-shirt, but I like to start my designs out a little bit bigger just in case I need to resize things later. Once I have all my images compiled in my Photoshop document, then I just start to mask them out so I can get only the pieces that I wanna use. I use the select subject button just to get a quick outline of the people, and then I refine things with my lasso tool and use liquify to reshape the heads where they get cut off on the top of the photos. If a photo is too dark for the AI to understand where the people and the background are separated, sometimes I duplicate my layer and turn the brightness way up, so that way you can see the definition and the difference between the subject and the background. This helps the select subject function work a little bit better, but also it helps you see it better if you need to go back in and refine the selection. I didn't do a great job of selecting the hair here, but it really wasn't a big deal because I knew I was just gonna fade it out, and plus it was going on a black background, so if I turn the contrast up, you really can't see the definition. I dug around through Google for some authentic vintage 90s style shirts like this because a lot of people have done remakes and I feel like they just don't look exactly the same. So I like to get a good feel of what the authentic ones look like and what makes them look so good. And really, I think it's the colors and a lot of the textures because most of these are vintage and have been washed a lot. I don't normally use Defont for fonts, but for these bootleg tees, they work pretty perfectly. I feel like there's something about these fonts that are just kind of a little bit janky. No shade, I've got a couple on there that I made myself, but I think there's something about them that are just so perfect for this 90s style. They really take on a lot of layer style effects really well, so it's the perfect place to start for sure. This is also the kind of thing where you can break some design rules. I like to stretch my text out and do things that I wouldn't normally do if I was doing something kind of serious for a client. But these things are fun, so it's fine to just have some fun with it. Now here's where the magic happened for me. I bought these preset packs from this guy named Fuller Mo. He has a YouTube channel as well. He does tutorials on how to make these bootleg shirts a lot, but he also sells his presets for these text effects. So I bought some and I was super surprised at how well they worked. I mean, they were literally just like one click and it changed the game. Like every single preset that I used looked awesome. And the hardest part was actually just choosing which one was gonna be right for this shirt. I only bought like three packs from him, but I really wish I could just buy them all. I mean, everything looks awesome. And he has presets for different kinds of like gradient effects and you know just all sorts of different things that you can use to make a really awesome bootleg shirt. This video isn't sponsored, but if you use my code below, you can actually buy them from his site for 20% off. Once I picked the preset that I was gonna use, I actually decided that I wanted to arch and curve the text. So I canceled the effect and I went back and did that before reapplying it. After messing around with some of the other photos that I found, I decided that it was kind of just good with just this one photo of the three main McPoyle siblings. I just thought it was kind of weird having multiple characters repeated multiple times. I think that look works really well if you have one person and then you use them several times in different ways. So I just decided, screw all that. I'm just gonna go with just the one photo of the three characters together. While I was browsing around through the presets, I found this one with this like fire fill and I thought it would be perfect for the background since the characters look pretty sweaty all the time. We're gonna get this place hot and clammy. Just like the McBoyles like it. So I just put that in the background as like a holding shape and put a little bit of a drop shadow behind the characters to separate them from the background. I just added the three characters' names at the bottom to kind of box out the whole design so it wasn't too top heavy. And I applied another preset with another gold filter. When it was done, I mocked it up on my t-shirt template and I had another gem in the books. I was super excited with how this t-shirt came out. It's probably one of my favorite designs I've made in a super long time. Not only did those text presets kind of set this off and take it to a next level, they were super easy to use. So I made this t-shirt in like less than an hour on my live stream. The things that took me the longest were searching for fonts and picking through the presets that I wanted and also trying to figure out how to block out the bottom. But I knew that was a necessary part of the design because it would have been super top heavy if it was all just printed up here. Since the character's clothes are black, 
they dip to the shirt color. So it would have been so, so top heavy. Overall, this was a super fun project and it really can be done for any kind of character. I like to make these shirts for my friends who are in bands or musicians or just sell their own merch. I think it's super cool. I think it's a fun style and I get a lot of compliments whenever I wear these shirts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for another subject for a bootleg shirt, let me know. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like always, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.